Hey y'all, Janelle here. What it do? Coming to you to do a pregnancy update. Um, so yesterday marked my 16th month, excuse me, 16th month, 16th week um, of my pregnancy. Um, and honestly guys, there's really no news. <laughs> like, I guess no news is good news kind of situation. I don't have any type of aversions, any type of really cravings real cravings um my pregnancy has been really uh, uneventful up until the, up, my life has been eventful my pregnancy has been really uneventful um i found out that i was pregnant at five weeks um and that was through going to a doctor and you know ttn in a cup and you know that's i'm pregnant <laughs> so um, I then went back to the doctor when I was about eight weeks and then had an ultrasound. And I think I showed you pictures. Did I show you pictures? I don't know. I showed, I don't know if I showed you photograph pictures, but the little baby, just like the little wings, just like, <laughs> like this. And the heartbeat was, was kicking. That beat was kicking hard. Um, now the first couple of weeks, I really didn't have any morning sickness but i did have some nausea and by morning I, I i separate the two because i did not throw, i've never thrown up during my pregnancy i haven't thrown up any at any time during my pregnancy um i would just feel a little nauseous some mornings um and evenings and i would just take a, a large grain of sea salt that wasn't like finely grained or anything and just put that on my tongue and let, and let that marinate and I'll be good to go in another couple of minutes. Now, I did notice that my appetite picked up. Yes, girl. I mean, yes. So I was eating. Um, now, the first trimester, they said you, gen you generally don't necessarily have to add any uh, calories for yourself or for the baby. But um, the second trimester, trimester, of course, you you are requested or suggested to eat an additional 300 calories. And so I don't necessarily know if I eat more than the three, or, or um, I don't know if I eat, you know, more calories. I have the My Fitness Pal app on my phone, but I don't know, child. Um, I did start taking pre prenatals. I started Nature's Valley, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think it's Nature's Valley. It's some um, prenatal that I got from Kaiser, because that's who I, um, who I am insured with. But, um, I didn't like them. I didn't like, well, it's not that I don't like them. I think that they constipate me. So throughout the pregnancy, I have been really constipated. That's one thing I can say. Real constipated girl. So I'm like, ain't shit at all. Just full of shit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like that's something that, but I, I've honestly recently kind of slowed down with the prenatals. I said I was going to get a different brand. And maybe try those. Maybe I want to try some gummies, but I just haven't got any gotten any yet. And I know that prenatals are suggested and you should. But I also know that there was years of healthy babies, centuries of healthy babies without prenatals, just taking really good care of yourself. Um, I don't think that my diet is good though. <laughs> I think that I generally just eat whatever, you feel me? Like, whatever. I know that during the first trimester, I was extremely tired. All I would do is eat breakfast. I, I, I did. The good thing about me um, being pregnant was that I got a breakfast every day. So I would wake up and make sure I had enough time to make breakfast. I ate breakfast every day. So, like, generally, like, eggs, turkey bacon. Maybe I put that in a wrap or eggs, turkey bacon, and I would just eat it by itself. So that's pretty much it. Maybe I might do some pork sausage every blue moon, like the little maple sausages. I love those. Um, and what was I about to say? Oh, I would eat lunch at school. I would have to make sure that I had snacks. It's on the way home is where I would feel famished and almost faint. Like, I, I'm about to pass out right now. I'm so hungry. So I started having to make sure that I had a snack for, you know, after school or on my way home. And when I got home, I would eat. And that would be it, honey. Lights out. What? I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> don't call me. You call me. Guess what you're going to get? Um, I don't even know what the little automatic voice message said. You have been you have been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. 404. Look, that was it. Okay? Because I'm telling you, that's all I did was just come home, eat, sleep. Um, And, of course, it threw off my sleep 
pattern because I would wake, let's say I would come home, eat at 6 o'clock. Sometimes I would wake up maybe 9 o'clock, then I'm up to about 2 o'clock. So my pattern, my sleep pattern was all off. I know I'm not so crop top, but I'm really not big. Um, haven't gained any weight really. Um, when I, well, I put on like four or five pounds, four or five pounds. And I think that's just from, you know, eating and going to sleep. Um, my breast soreness has dissipated. Uh, yeah, for a long time, they were so sore. Like even when I got up or even when I took off my bra, it would feel like, woof. And I, and I, mean, I got some C's, but that's mostly just because of my back. <laughs> I got some little boobies. But, baby, they felt heavy like rocks. Like, they felt like triple Ds. It, whatever triple Ds feel like when I took off my bra. They just they just hurt. They just hurt. Like, ooh, don't hug me. Like, ooh, don't touch them. Ooh, they hurt. Um, let me see. What else have I noticed with my pregnancy? Of course, you know, just potty. Using the potty a little bit more um, with number one, not number two. Because, like I said, I've been constipated. Um... That's pretty much it. Um, now during I've, I'm in my second trimester now, so I have picked up a little more energy. So I'm not, you know, as tired, as sleepy, as exhausted, as fatigued. Um, but I am still, you know, hungry. <laughs> I am still hungry, and it, like I said, it's recommended that I get an additional 300 calories during my second trimester. But, um. During the set, I also did, I went and got my, you know, the last video, or the first video I made, I don't know, I, I made my, I went and got my sequential screening done. And so you get that done in your first trimester and then in your second trimester, which will be for me, uh, May 30th, I'm going to go back and get the second part of the testing. And again, that's just testing for Down syndrome, trisomy 18, and some neural defect. Um, just to make sure baby's healthy. And I think they try to do it early enough because some women, of course, would like to, you know, terminate. I don't think I would term terminate my pregnancy, even if something um, were, you know, wrong with my baby. Um, I don't think that I would, having worked with special needs kids before. I think that it would just make me love my child even more. Um, now, like I told you guys, I haven't, I'm not going to upload that video until the whole investigation part of it is done. But there was an altercation that I got that I was forced to be involved in because somebody laid hands on the girl um, on Friday. So I am going to the doctor today to make sure that everything is okay with the baby. Um, I have been feeling some movement, so that's good. Um, and so, like I said, I'm about four months now. I am four months, 16 weeks. I started feeling movement maybe last week. Um, and I didn't necessarily know what it was. I thought it was just like st my stomach growling. Um, and then a couple times I felt like a little jolt, like, oh... That's how you feel. That's how you feel. So, oh, okay. So you just gonna be rude, all right? So, um, oh, what I have, what I did notice though, was a lot of heartburn. Like I love spicy food. I have always loved spicy food. Like we used to go, you know, what I'm saying to South Dakota Mall when I was a little girl. All five of my mama kids, each of us got our own American deli. You feel me? We didn't have to share. <laughs> but like I've always literally loved spicy food. Um, and I can sleep on it and be good to go. You know, some people be like, oh, I got heartburn, heartburn. Some people be like, oh, my ass is on fire. I never received any of that. But since being pregnant, um, if I ate too late and didn't drink enough water and juice behind it, not water, because juice was still sometimes the acid and the uh, citrus would just still have me like, ugh. So I wake up in the morning or wake up throughout the night and have to drink um, a little bit of just a cap full of apple cider vinegar just to rid that heartburn. But that's something else that I notice a lot of heartburn. Um, but yeah, other than just feeling famished and having to eat, um, everything is good. Like I said, no morning sickness, nothing is swollen yet. I've only gained about four or five pounds. And that's the last time I got on the scale. That was with my shoes on. So I think if I took my shoes off, I wouldn't even have gained those four or five. It would only be like two or three. Um, and I'm hoping, I really want to be one of those mamas that's only belly. Like if you saw the girl from the back, you'll be like, yeah. And then she turn around and it's just like, oh, she pregnant. That's cute too. Um, I really just want to be all belly. And I know that I should incorporate some exercise. And that's one thing that I have, 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 have have to start doing is incorporating some exercise um and i hear that squats make it a lot easier for you to um uh, have the baby so that's something that i'm going to have to start incorporating before i get big because i want the squat process to already be in process in progress um, i'm also looking into aerobics water aerobics for the summer 
um, as well as prenatal yoga. So I'm excited about both of those things. Um, I can get them through. I can get prenatal yoga through Kaiser. I think I saw the uh, the water aerobics on Kaiser too. I think it's like Old Baby Fitness or something like that. Old Baby Old Baby Baby Fitness or something. Um, but so I'm excited about the both of those things. I just want to you know connect with other moms. Like my friends, look, my friend <laughs> really doesn't. You know, she's never been a mom, so you know we're like, we're learning together, child. She be asking questions, and it's cool because who else she gonna ask questions to? Them don't quit them dumb questions, but besides your bestie or your sister, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who's really close to you who's not gonna judge because they you, they don't know either. Y'all ain't never been pregnant before. You ain't never you know y'all the only two. You know what I'm saying? Like neither one of us got kids. We don't really know too many people with kids. So, oh, child. That scared me. That's not like I was just throwing rocks at my house. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it with the pregnancy. I'm going to show you guys my belly or lack thereof at this point. Um, y'all know prior to, well, last year I had went on my weight loss journey and I lost, um, I started, I think I started at 212 and I got down to like 185 and I just kind of fell off. But yeah, so that weight, I'm only about 192 now. And like I said, I have a little push now, but honestly, I have been had a little push. <laughs> so um, this is all we have right now. This is four months of pregnancy. Um, let's look this down. Okay. That's it. That's all that it is. Um, not really big at all. I do feel, like I said, movement. I love to kind of just massage that area. I love to just talk to baby. I've been praying for baby. I've been thanking God for baby for this opportunity for this baby. Um, and I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, emotionally, there are days where I don't want to do anything but cry. And, you know, people who find out that I'm pregnant or who I tell I'm pregnant, they get so excited. I'm just like, yeah, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and so um, they're like, you're not excited. I'm just like, not baby. And I think I'm not necessarily, I don't mean to say I'm not excited about the pregnancy. What I mean to say that is that I'm not excited about the situation that I'm bringing the baby in. But I know that I'm going to be a great mommy. Um, I know that hopefully the father, he's been, you know, a little more active lately. Of course, not as much as I'd like, but, you know, that's fine. Um, but, you know, I, I have excellent um, role models of what a mother is by my mother, by my grandmother. And, you know, I, I just have a lot of love for this little nugget, this little baby, this little seed, this little blessing child, this little soldier, this little warrior that God has blessed me with the ability to be this child's mother. I am, I mean, like, that's exciting because honestly, I didn't think that I would. And even when I think about it now, I was like, you know, it's a good age because if I wait any longer, I'm going to be that old mama, like. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't want to be the young mom. You know, some of the kids be like, my mama 30, um, my mama 30, my mama 28. And I'm like, wait, but, but, but you, you 14. So your mama had you at 14. Okay. Um, <laughs> like, I, I think that my children are going to be like, my mama, oh, she had me at an old age. But that's okay, you know, that's okay. Because they'll see the difference between their friends how they're living and mama and how she's living and it's secure. So um, I'm trying to be excited about it. You know, this is a real girl's, you know, vlog, pregnancy vlog. I don't have no man who's doting on me and rubbing cocoa butter on my belly, child. It's just a woman who is pregnant, who is trying to sustain in this thing we call life. Um, I will start doing the cocoa butter belly, probably do shea butter. Mix some shea butter and some oils. I will start doing that. I guess I should start now. There's no time like the present present because I really don't want the stretchies. I don't want the hamburger belly, the ground turkey. I really don't or ground beef, whichever one you like. But you know, that's my warrior stripes if I do. But yes, that is my first. I guess technically first pregnancy vlog. This is all about pregnancy. I am going to the doctor today, like I said, to make sure everything is fine after the little tussle, honey. After the little bitch. Put her hands on me, child. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's it, you guys. I love you. I shall talk to you all soon and very soon. Um, yeah, be blessed. Bye.